there are times where you need to use what we call a groups to, to take several channels. Let's assume drums. Drums is a perfect example. You want to create um, one fader to control the makeup of the drums. Here's what I mean. In this console, in the TF, we call it DCA. That's what we refer to grouping different faders together. So a DCA basically becomes one fader that controls the makeup of whatever that DCA is. So instead of explaining technically what it is, let's just get to the board and show you what I mean. So let's first start with a mix of drums. Let's say I have eight microphones on drums. I have kick, snare, hats, toms, 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 overhead, and overhead. And purposely, I made it look like a smiley face just for visual representation. I hope you don't mix drums like that. Maybe you do, I don't know. But just to see a visual representation of that. All right. So this is my drums. Well, let's do actually another one quickly. Let's do a sad face opposite of that of guitars. So this is drums. These are all the guitars in the band. A lot of guitars somehow. Great, it's all drums and guitars. That's what the band is about. Great. Anyways, so drums and guitars. Remember what it looks like. Happy face, smiley face, sad face. All right, let's get to the groups. If I press these two buttons where it says input one and input two together, those, this section of the TF1 becomes DCA one through eight. Of course you can give these names. So for example, if I touch at the bottom here, touch on that and I call this drums because that's what I want it to be. So DR for drums. I'm not gonna spell the whole thing out. In fact, I don't have to get out of this page I can select DCA number two, and instead of DCA number two, I'll call it GTR for guitars. Let's just, um, let's stop there. So I have DR for drums, GTR for guitars. Now let's populate the makeup of that. So I'm gonna select that drums, I'm gonna touch on DCA assignment. These are my channels. And notice the moment I start touching those icons, it's going to populate automatically. This is a very pro feature where DCA spill, meaning when I, when I select the DCA, it shows me the makeup of those channels. So let's populate drums. As you can see, the smiley face is being populated. Great, let's select DCA number two. Because the motorized faders, they go down to zero. Now let's populate the guitars, which are channels nine through 16. So as you can see, it's populating the sad face of guitars. So when I go back and forth between them, automatically, so no matter where I am at, it will populate that. So the benefit of that is, um, so if I bring this fader all the way down and my house is up, I get no drums whatsoever from these microphones. If I bring the DCA for drums up, I get this mix in the house. But the cool thing is, when I still, let's say I'm we're performing and the entire drums is loud. I, I don't want to go to the individual makeup of the microphones to lower them because there are different proportions. I can take just one fader down and bring the whole drums down. But in the process, if bringing the drums all the way down, I lost the snare maybe, no problem. I can reach out to the snare and bring it up right away. Let me do one more example of that. Let's touch on the guitar. The entire guitar is way too loud. Let's bring all the guitars down pretty much, except for, you know, the lead guitarist now is just like, un you, can't, you can't hear that guitar anymore. Now I can bump that guitar exactly to where I want to. So you have the benefit of best of both worlds right now where you have the, you have the master DCA for a group of channels and the individual makeup of that DCA. And that's what DCAs are.